Hi, so in this video we will find the generalized formula to find total number of all the possible triangles in this kind of given triangle. So all these triangles are equilateral triangles and number of white triangles in each side are equal and suppose in this particular triangle the number of small white triangles in the base are equal to n and then we will try to find the generalized formula to find the total number of possible triangles in this triangle whose base has n number of these small upright triangles. So let us try to count the number of triangles in this particular triangle and then we can generalize the formula. So in this particular triangle we have total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 triangles in the base. So here in this particular case n is equal to 9. And now let us try to find the total number of triangles. So first let us try to find the number of upright triangles. That means the triangles which are like this. So the number of triangles in this form will be equal to n multiplied by n plus 1 divided by 2 which is the nth triangular number and when we count these kind of triangles that means this triangle, this triangle and this triangle and then this triangle and number of such triangles would be equal to n minus 1 multiplied by n divided by 2. Why? Because see here you will have one such triangle and if I talk about the base and take this particular case where n is equal to 9 you will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 such triangles in the base. So the total number of such triangles will be equal to n minus first triangular number and similarly when I talk about all the triangles of this kind they will actually be equal to n minus second triangular number. So number of such triangles will be equal to n minus 2 multiplied by n minus 1 divided by 2. So this will continue till the final triangle which will have all the small triangles inside it and number of such triangles will be equal to 1. So number of upright triangles in this kind of triangle is nothing but the sum of n triangular number and the sum of n triangular number is equal to n multiplied by n plus 1 multiplied by n plus 2 divided by 6. So number of these kind of triangles where these two vertices are in the horizontal line and the third vertex is in the north of this horizontal line will be equal to n multiplied by n plus 1 multiplied by n plus 2 divided by 6. This is nothing but the sum of n triangular numbers and yes I have already made a video on the derivation of this formula and I'll provide you the link in the description section. So if you have any doubt about this formula you can watch that video and clarify all your doubts. And here we also have triangles which are facing downwards where the third vertex is below the horizontal line. So now let us try and count all those triangles. So there will be two cases. Counting is slightly different when n is odd and when n is even. So first let us talk about the case where n is odd because we already have a drawing for that particular case. So number of triangles which are like this will be equal to the n minus first triangular number because if you see properly all these shaded triangles they also form a triangular number and the number of triangles in the base are just one less than n. So number of such triangles will be equal to n minus 1 multiplied by n divided by 2 that is n minus first triangular number and when we count these kind of triangles number of such triangles when we start counting we are suppose this was the first layer we have to start counting from here because this is the first layer where you have two triangles two shaded triangles in the base so you will start counting from here and you will end counting here so here you are not counting one layer and here also you will not count one layer because the, this layer will just make the tip of such triangles this will be the triangle whose each side is equal to 2 and starting from this layer you can't have any such triangle. So you are actually discarding two layers this layer and this layer 
and there were total n minus 1 layers so number of such triangles will actually be equal to n minus third triangular number that will be equal to n minus 3 multiplied by n minus 2 divided by 2 and number of these kind of triangles will be equal to n minus 5 multiplied by n minus 4 divided by 2 and number of such triangles will be equal to n minus 7 multiplied by n minus 6 divided by 2 right and here is the trick and here if in the bigger triangle n is an odd number that means if n is equal to 9 in this particular case the last set of triangles which you are going to get small shaded triangles in its base will be equal to the floor value of n divided by 2 see in this particular case when n is equal to 9 the last set of triangles the number of small triangles in its base will be equal to floor value of 9 divided by 2 that is the floor value of 4.5 that is 4 so when you have four small triangles in the base you will have one triangle like this and then you will have one more triangle with base equal to 4 like this and you have another triangle with base equal to 4 units like this so whenever n is odd the last set of triangles will always be the second triangular number which is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 divided by 2 and when I add all this first term can be written as n minus 1 square divided by 2 plus n minus 1 divided by 2 second term can be written as n minus 3 square divided by 2 plus n minus 3 divided by 2 and this last term can be written as 2 square divided by 2 plus 2 divided by 2 if I take half common and inside the bracket I'll have sum of squares of all these even numbers so this will be equal to n minus 1 square plus n minus 3 square and this will continue till 2 square and again we can take 1 by 2 common from all these terms so I'll have n minus 1 plus n minus 3 plus this will continue till 2 right so so in this bracket we have sum of squares of consecutive even numbers from 2 till n minus 1 so I can peacefully take 4 common so I'll have 4 common 4 divided by 2 and inside the bracket I'll have square of n minus 1 divided by 2 plus square of n minus 3 divided by 2 plus this will continue till square of 1 right and from here again I can take 2 common so this will become 2 divided by 2 and this will be n minus 1 divided by 2 plus n minus 3 divided by 2 plus this will continue till 1 so inside this bracket we have sum of squares from 1 till n minus 1 divided by 2 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4 so this will be equal to 2 multiplied by sum of first n minus 1 divided by 2 squares and sum of first n squares is given as n multiplied by n plus 1 multiplied by 2n plus 1 divided by 6 so this will be equal to if I take 1 divided by 6 over here this will be equal to n minus 1 divided by 2 multiplied by n minus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 multiplied by 2 times n minus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 plus sum of n minus 1 divided by 2 natural numbers and that will be equal to half of n minus 1 divided by 2 multiplied by n plus 1 divided by 2 so this will be 2 3s are 6 and this will be equal to n multiplied by n square minus 1 divided by 12 and this much will be equal to n square minus 1 divided by 8 so this can be given as n square minus 1 divided by 4 multiplied by 2n plus 3 divided by 6 so these kind of triangles when n is odd is equal to n square minus 1 divided by 4 multiplied by 2n plus 3 divided by 6 
okay and now let us count these kind of triangles when n is equal to an even number so when n is an even number n minus 1 will be odd n minus 3 will be odd n minus 5 will be odd and the last term over here will be the first triangular number that is 1 multiplied by 2 divided by 2 why see when n is an even number suppose then our bigger triangle will look something like this here n is equal to 8 and the last inverted triangle will have four small inverted triangles in its base and this 4 is equal to 8 divided by 2. This will be the last triangle and you will have only one such triangle. So that is why the last term of this sequence will be equal to the first triangular number that is 1 multiplied by 2 divided by 2. I am writing it in this way because it will help me in manipulating the expression. So now let us add all these terms to find the total number of inverted triangles like these when n is even. So the first term can be written as n minus 1 whole square divided by 2 plus n minus 1 divided by 2 and the second term can be written as n minus 3 whole square divided by 2 plus n minus 3 divided by 2 and this last term will be written as 1 square divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 2. So again we have sum of squares and now we actually have sum of squares of odd numbers. So if I take half common the first term will be n minus 1 square and the second term will be n minus 3 square and this will be till 1 square and in the second bracket again I can have half common and then inside the bracket I'll have n minus 1 plus n minus 3 plus and this will continue till 1. So this n minus 1 will actually be n divided by 2th odd number nth odd number is given as 2n minus 1. So if I compare this with this, this term will actually be n divided by 2th odd number. So sum of squares of n odd numbers is given as n multiplied by 4n square minus 1 divided by 3. So this sum, if I substitute n is equal to n divided by 2, I'll get half and let me write this 3 also over here multiplied by n will be n divided by 2 and 4 n square will be equal to n square and minus 1 and then we will have plus sum of n divided by 2 odd numbers will be n square divided by 4 because sum of first n odd numbers is equal to n square and multiplied by 1 divided by 2. So this will be equal to n multiplied by n square minus 1 divided by 12 plus n square divided by 8. So if I take n divided by 4 common, I'll have n square minus 1 divided by 3 plus n divided by 2 which will be equal to n divided by 4 multiplied by 2n square plus 3n minus 2 divided by 6. So if I substitute n equal to 4 this will be 4 divided by 4 multiplied by 32 plus 12 minus 2 divided by 6. So this will be equal to 42 divided by 6 that is equal to 7. So when n is equal to 4 I'll get only this much triangle where number of such triangles is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and number of this type of triangles is equal to 1 which is over here. So these are the derivation of formula to find the total number of triangles in this kind of given triangle. I would advise you to remember the formula to find the sum of n triangular numbers, sum of squares of n odd numbers, sum of n natural numbers and sum of first n square numbers. So if you know all that, you can very well find all the possible number of triangles in these kind of given triangles. So that's all for this video and for many many more interesting videos, keep watching Maths Math, subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you'll get to know about my new upcoming videos. So bye bye till then.